Subprograms can be made in Mastercam using two methods. The first one we're going to look at is by using the Transform toolpath. Here in the Ops Manager, <coughs> I have two toolpaths, one for roughing this clover and one for finishing. I'm going to put the insert cursor before, after the last operation. I'm going to go into toolpath and select the XForm toolpath. Okay. In the XForm toolpath, the source operations are going to be the first and second toolpaths. I'm going to translate the toolpath by coordinate method. This means I'm going to move to another point switch into another mode, probably incremental mode, and machine it, and then move over in the XY, machine it in incremental mode, move over in the XY again, as opposed to moving to a new coordinate system, G54, then G55, then 56, 57, 58. You would be responsible for that on the CNC machine. We can do this right on the, uh, right in the G code with the coordinate method. We want to do by operation type in this case. We're going to run all the... Um, Finishing toolpaths, or roughing toolpaths first, then switch tools, and then run the finishing toolpaths. Or in this case, we're not switching tools. I'm going to copy the source operations and disable posting in the source operations. These are the source operations. This first one will be repeated if we copy the source and do not disable. So we're going to disable that. Subprogram must be selected. I'm going to do it in incremental mode. Absolute mode is not compatible with the coordinate method, but it is compatible with the tool plane method. So we're going to switch it to incremental mode. I'm going to translate this. Okay. Let's see. In the X, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by 3. Okay. Let's see what happens. We are counting the first one. You can see that <clears throat> if we just backplot the transform operation, it does the first one and all the others. And now we'll finish it, every one of them. Notice how all the other operations are ghosted. When posting, all we need to do is post the transform operation. If we view the G code, we can see that it will move to a new location and run program P1. Move to a new location, run program P1 several times, and then P2. P2 is the finishing. Everything's in one file. You can read that into your machine in one shot. The Simcoe editor has a backplot button. You can click the backplot window, and it also has the capability of backplotting G-code, which is very nice. In our next video, we're going to examine how to make this fixture plate, since there are two bolts in the way of the pattern.